Welcome to Bus Driver Life. I'm glad that you're here to join me. My name is Kiwan. I've been a bus driver for about 18 years. I've driven school buses and I currently drive transit buses in the Sacramento, California area. In this video, we're gonna talk about automated buses, self-driving buses, specifically the Excelsior AV. It's North America's first automated heavy duty transit bus by New Flyer. Is this bus gonna be the game changer that's finally gonna replace human bus drivers? Let's find find out. Technologies are changing the way we move and paving the way for cities that are smarter and safer. But nice looking bus. in cities of the future requires a new kind of bus. This is Excelsior AV, an SAE Level 4 automated vehicle. It represents the future of safety in public transit and the latest leap forward for New Flyer, North America's largest bus manufacturer. New Flyer Have has never big plans for Excelsior AV, and these engineers are about to show us what it can do. Okay. A lot of times when you know, you're driving a, a large vehicle, it's hard to get that vehicle close to the curb, both front and rear doors close with the precision docking. It allows Not us really. to repeatedly hit that spot over and over with the close tolerance you know, within uh, three inches of the curb and will allow you to easily step from the curb under the bus or roll from the curb onto the bus. We so the guy said it's very difficult when you're driving a large vehicle to pull that vehicle up to the curb, front and rear doors, but actually it's not. We do it all the time. We actually pride ourselves on how good we are at pulling the bus up to the curb close enough so that people don't have to step over a large gap. He ain't lying. Unfortunately, there are times where we can't get as close to the curb as we want to because sometimes people like to park at bus stops and we have to swing the bus around their vehicle and maybe nosedive into the bus stop and make all sorts of weird maneuvers to get as close as we possibly can. But when it's clear, we can get right up to the curb. Sometimes we're a little confused competitive about it. And if you're a bus driver and you're not good at pulling your bus up to the curb, you better step your game up because you will be roasted. Oh. Seriously though, I'm sure the computer can do a good job doing it every single time, but bus stops are not going to be the same every single time. But you know, it is what it is. Let's see what else they have to say. We are able to maneuver the vehicle close to the curb or platform boarding without actually causing any damage to either the infrastructure or to the vehicle itself. Um, so it is able to repeatedly park or stop at either a curb or a platform boarding and allow passengers to safely board. Okay, they are triggering me right now. Triggered? I'm triggered! These people throwing us under the bus like we just be tearing up platforms and buses and bus stops and stuff. I mean, incidents and accidents do happen but overall we're really good at pulling up to bus stops and platforms and transit centers and she talking about and they'll actually be able to safely board the bus they safely board the bus now no mm -mm. Mm -mm. no I know what y'all are thinking. I'm just bitter and I'm upset because they have a bus that drives itself and pretty much they're gonna replace my job with a bus that drives itself but listen here okay I am upset no, that's a cool technology, seriously. But don't throw the human bus drivers under the bus to make your self-driving bus look good. That's all I'm saying. That's all I am saying. The bus looks really cool. I would love to try it out. I mean, I guess I wouldn't be able to drive it, but I'd love to check it out in person, though. It looks really cool. The technology looks great. Just don't throw us under the bus like we're trash or something. Because I think you guys think we're trash. You're like, oh, these real bus drivers are trash. We need to throw them in the trash and just allow people to ride a nice, safe bus and get rid of the human element. Yeah. I was at about six there. You don't want to see me go to 10. All right, I'm just joking and having some fun with this, but uh, let's continue watching. A series of LiDAR detectors and other sensors allow the bus to see in all directions. This allows the bus's sophisticated AV control system to respond quickly to any hazards a bus driver would experience on the road, like crossing pedestrians, unexpected obstacles, and cross traffic. For public transit, the technology promises a level of safety never seen before. Uh, most times when a driver is operating the vehicle, they can only see what's in front of them. So with the automated system, we can see what's going on around the vehicle at all times. The system can alert them that there's cross traffic coming, there's pedestrian crossing the road that they may not have seen. This allows the Excelsior AV to provide safer transit than we've ever seen before. Okay, so I'm slightly, tri 
<laughs> triggered again because they literally just said this is going to provide a level of safety never seen before. <laughs> Man, they don't like us. They have been throwing so much shade at human bus drivers throughout this video, and I don't even think it's intentional, but it's there. You ain't lying. That technology that they're showing where they can show what's around the bus, like 360 front and back in the sides, why can't us human bus drivers get that technology right now? Do you know how helpful that would be? We deal with so many different blind spots along our bus and we can't even see behind us. And then we're trained to rock and roll in the seat. We're rocking and rolling, rocking back and forth to make sure we can see everything. But y'all got a whole tablet right here in the driver's area that's letting you know what's all around the bus. Can we get that now? Can the Before you replace us, can we see what it feels like to have some technology like that on the buses that we operate now? Doesn't safety matter now? Or we have to wait until you have perfected the self-driving bus. We can't get some of that tech now? I'm just saying, I'm just saying, it's a suggestion. You know, I'm a bus driver, I'm a transit bus driver. I'm out there in the field. We can use some of that now. I know it's gonna take a few more years probably for you all to get this thing completely worked out, to work all the kinks out. So until then, can us human drivers get a little bit of tech that can help us see all around the bus no god please no no okay all right it was worth a try but my assessment on that uh self-driving buses automated buses they are coming they are on their way. And it looks as if initially they are gonna still have a bus operator in the seat in case they need to take over. Maybe portions of the trip will be automated and portions will be actually driven by a human bus driver. So it seems like as they are working out this technology and perfecting it and working the kinks out, they are gonna still have the human element to be a part of it. Now, I'm pretty sure if they're making automated buses, they're hoping that at some point they can get rid of the bus operator. Because why would you be designing an automated self-driving bus and you still plan on hiring bus drivers to drive the bus that can drive itself? I'm pretty sure long-term bus operators are gonna be out. Not anytime soon, but I'm pretty sure long-term, that's probably the plan. If they're able to achieve the level of perfection they need with this technology, bus drivers will be out. You ain't lying. But until then, once they start introducing these automated buses, I wonder how will bus drivers, including myself, like how would I feel being behind the wheel and not controlling the bus? The bus is doing everything. I'm seeing cars cut in front of me, bicycles, pedestrians running out in front of the bus, all sorts of stuff like, and I just have to sit there. But then I also wonder how much responsibility will I have behind the wheel of an automated bus? Will I be responsible to still be looking out for these things? Am I supposed to a real quick takeover if it appears that the bus is not gonna stop for a hazard how does that work i am curious about that and i wonder if they have that all worked out yet so that will be very interesting to find out but yeah in the future once they kind of have this system worked out and more perfected i'm pretty sure they're gonna be like bus drivers who needs those people they can hire like an attendant and pay an attendant a lower wage and they can be part-time so you don't have to worry about giving them full-time benefits and pension and sick time and all of that stuff and they can just have an attendant on the self-driving bus that can take care of the passengers strap down wheelchairs and deal with fares and things of that nature and monitor the bus and if it needs to be shut down or if it needs help they'll be there to take care of that but they probably will not have to hire like union bus drivers and pay them a fair wage and you know hear all their complaints you know they'll be able to kind of alleviate that and I guess if it's a situation with a pandemic they won't have to worry about keeping bus operators safe they're like hey this bus drives itself this bus doesn't need a mask <laughs> And to the passengers out there that dislike bus drivers and you think we're evil, you think we're monsters, you think we're ridiculous, you think we're insane, I'm pretty sure you are excited and happy to know that pretty soon bus drivers can potentially be out of a job. You're happy about that, right? <laughs> yes. So how long do you think it will be before tech like this will be introduced and implemented into actual service? Maybe three to five years, 10 years? Nope. How about this year? 2021. Let's read this story from Mass Transit. It says CTDOT scheduled to deploy first full-size automated transit bus in 
North America. So CT DOT, that's Connecticut Department of Transportation, plans to test the first full-sized automated transit bus project in North America. The automated technology will be tested on the CT Fast Track Bus Rapid Transit Corridor, which is a dedicated nine mile route between New Britain and Hartford. The demonstration project will see the development of three 40 foot battery electric Excelsior charge heavy duty transit buses from New Flyer with robotic researches, proprietary auto drive, advanced driver assistance system. Ooh, that was a lot. That's what she said. So basically this year in Connecticut, they will be actually testing these buses out on an actual bus route. And it goes on to say a whole bunch of other stuff, but you can check that article out in Mass Transit. What is it? Mass Transit Mag dot com is where you can find this article. So these buses are here. This is now the present. This isn't the future. This is the present. It seems cool, but it's a little scary because it makes the future of bus operators kind of uncertain. We don't know how things are going to go as they start to implement these self-driving buses over the next few years. They're starting now. This pilot program is going to give them data and information that they need to make this technology more sophisticated and they're gonna be able to refine it and they're gonna be able to implement it into more transit systems, more cities, more states, more counties. And it's gonna change the face of how bus operators operate buses because initially it appears that we will still be involved in this process. But eventually, I believe the dependency on human bus drivers will become less and less. I don't think it's gonna happen anytime soon, but the process is beginning now. Let me know what you all think about that, whether you're a passenger or a bus driver. What do you think about these new automated self-driving buses? Thank you for watching Bus Driver Life. If you haven't already, you enjoyed the video, subscribe, and I'm already holding my thumb up for thumbs up on the video. That would be cool. Give me a like, and I'll see you in the next video.